Hi guys, uh, if you notice anything different, I'm trying some, some things out because the last video I made, it had some errors with the audio, and I'm sorry, this one also has error in the audio. I'm trying my best. We're trying to get the videos to sound good. I'm using my mom's old iPhone mic thing, so I'm super sorry if it sounds terrible. But besides that, let's get into the video, which this is another critique on RWBY Lover 34. And the first thing I noticed is basically this. I'm not going to say anything bad because I have no idea what this is. Um, it looks like it's from a movie. I'm not 100% sure, so if somebody could tell me what the creature here is, it looks familiar. That's the thing that's bothering me. It looks familiar. So I'm not going to say anything too horrendous about it, besides the colors look pretty good on it. So let's get on started. So first thing I noticed is that you have some adopts, which I'm not going to say anything mean about because I sometimes do that too. I like the colors that you chose for the adopts. Some of them blend very easily, like the uh, pink one down here. It blends really good. Uh, this, I'm, I'm not a big fan of like the way you drew the nose. That might just be me because I, like I said, I'm not used to seeing realistic done by some people. But besides that, the colors on the skirt and the top is really beautiful. Uh, anything else? I like this. I'm not sure like if that's an actual planet or because I can tell it's a commission and it looks like a like two planets to me which is well done. Like it's blended very easily. You took time into it. You add your watermarks which is pretty good. I to me when you when people add watermarks it 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 makes me kind of feel secured because I like cuz I don't know why, but it's just kind of nice seeing that. Because then I know if something bad happens and I happen to see that art and I see the watermark, I'll know who made it. Uh, proportions is very much correct. I'm going to say this now. I just now saw this with this. I'm not sure if perspective that's getting me. So sorry. My cat is, for some odd reason, being weird. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, perspective-wise, or what, but it looks like the hand is a bit too short here. I would try to fix it because if the body, if the where it's laying is right here, the arm should be kind of in the same area. Unless she's, like, leaning on something that's a little bit higher, then I would understand that. But since I don't know, I would have to say probably get... Um, proportion like length and proportions a little bit right as in with perspective because it will look a lot better I can tell you that uh, like I said colors really well done uh, this one I'm not too sure about but I, I can tell you use the base which I'm not going to be angry about Usually, some people don't like it when you use bases as for commissions. Other times, people are fine with that. So, if that's what you do, that's okay with me. But what I would recommend is, depending on what you use, and I know, let me check here for a second. I know you made it, like, last month. But when you're going to shade, try to keep things, like, in... in like, act like there's light somewhere. Like, if it's up here, make sure the shadows fall aligned. If it's over here, make sure the shadows fall aligned. Because right now, I'm not sure where it's actually directed. I am, like, so sorry, guys, if you can hear her. For some odd reason, my cat is doing something stupid. And I have no idea why. I'm so sorry if you can hear her. I have no idea what's up with her. She's been crazy. But like I said, try and get, like, add, like, a little sun. And every time the sun hits, like, a certain space, like, right here, along, sorry, you can't see that, along this area. Like, let's say you have the sun here. 
and let's say you have an air like it's on this area the face a little bit here on this area here too everything that is would not catch the light like this area right here probably wouldn't probably a little bit here just certain places like try and practice with that when you do more shading and like, do some doodles and try and get a little bit better with the shading but like i said you don't have to you don't have to listen to this if you that's all i'm gonna say wow that's a nice tattoo sorry i'm not gonna look at that because i don't want to get some kind of copyright strike or whatever this actually looks pretty good i actually like this it's really cute uh, anything else that i can see <laughs> Mo like like right here this looks pretty good i would try and keep most things together like line art most people go over it like with light if you use ms paint let's say that let's say you use ms paint i would recommend you make it very thin line when you want to do the hair if you want to and try to make sure the colors don't blend like not blend like are seen with the other colors i guess you would have to say because right here i think i think in most spots it's supposed to be purple but besides that this, i'm not even sure if this is a base I don't want to say that you stole it because, like I said, I'm not a bit sure, sure. So let's keep on looking through. See you guys screenshots too, which I'm not going to say anything bad about. Uh, I would say stick to cartoons at most. But, like I said, Mm, there's not much I can really say. When you go for folds or stuff like this, try and learn, like, look up videos that teach you about, like, where gravity would pull. Like, if you got something that stretches over, obviously there's going to be some stretch marks there in certain places. And, like I said, I'm not very good at it myself. But I, I at least try. Uh, what else? Just looking on through. Even though I do like that you still gave credit and said it, this is not originally yours. I would at least try a little bit of searching first. Because I've had to deal with somebody who didn't credit and they got so angry at me because of it. But really, it was not really on me because I found the original base in a matter of seconds. But the designs that you come up with are really cute. Like, I would try to keep most of the colors looking similar or not have the lines go over. And I know this one is pretty old too, from January, but like I said, try to keep the colors looking, like try not to have some colors overlap, like right on this tail, it overlaps a bit with the, with the color here. So I try to keep everything smooth and clean. Maybe take your time a bit on it, because it will, it will look really great after you take your time and all that but besides that i don't really have much to say. just try and take go slow as you can take your time try to make sure you remember who the base originally was from and the colors do look good together but besides that there's not much i can really say on this but yeah besides See you guys in the next video that I'm going to have coming up. 
soon. <laughs>